let's look at more usage details of conditionals. So uh, a few common questions first that I'll address. One that you might have is, hey, what order can I use these if, else, if, else statements in? So else is always the last thing. You can't have anything after an else because that's kind of the default. If nothing else matches, we do whatever the else condition says, uh, the body of the else condition, conditional. Uh, so else can come after any if or after any elif. And elif also must come after an uh, if or an elif. So why? Else only makes sense relative to something else. So of course, else or else if, elif has to come after some previous condition that we've looked at. Another question you might have is why do we even have these elifs? Um, why don't we just use multiple if statements? That's a good question. Why don't we try it and see? So here's a comparison. Um, I have some number here, very similar to our class size example. So if I take this and let's say I run it, oops, comment there. So this is just using two ifs. So if I run Python 3 in the pi, I'm going to enter a number. Let's say that number is. First, that's number, and I'm sorry, number three. And our code does correctly output small number. But if I run this code again and I enter something slightly bigger, let's say 35, that's good. It prints out medium number. But if I enter a even bigger number, like 75, this now prints out both big number and medium number. And that's because um, this if is met. So if number is greater than 50, we print big number. But this line 5 is also an if statement. It's not an elif. Elif only gets executed, uh, only gets checked if all of the previous conditions in that kind of set of conditions that are being checked evaluate to false. If will get checked every single time, regardless of what uh, the previous conditions, kind of which ones were true and which weren't. And so the number 75 is bigger than 50, and so we print big number, and it is also bigger than 25, so we print medium number. And so this is a case where we want to use elif in this code. So if I do 75, only big number gets printed because an else if, elif, doesn't get checked if a previous condition in this set of conditionals uh, was true. Just to show you, this still works for the medium number and the small number. All right, the next common question. Um, you could ask me, hey, can I use a conditional inside of another conditional? My answer is uh, absolutely. Not only can you, we often do. Uh, and we call this a nested conditional when we have conditionals inside of conditionals. Let's look through an example together. Even something similar, like so simple, like deciding um, where you're going to go for dinner. So your first question might be, do I have meals left on my bison cart? And uh, two choices here, yes or no. Um, but then let's say you do, then you have a question of how much time do I actually have to get a meal? And if you have a bunch of time, uh, like more than 30 minutes, you'll go to punch out. Um, if you have less than uh, 30 minutes, though, you want something quick, maybe you'll go to Blackburn. But then on the no branch of this, so maybe you have no meals left on your bison card, you have to go somewhere else. You still are going to have this question, how much time do I have left? Um, and maybe if you have more than 30 minutes, you go to, you, you'll go to oohs and ahs. And if you have less than 30 minutes, you need something fast decide to go to subway so how do we implement this in code well each of these branches each time kind of each level of branching is an if else kind of conditional pair so if you have meals on your bison card then you have a smaller tree underneath otherwise you have a different smaller tree And now filling this in completely, you have this outer decision of 
do I have meals left on my bicycle card? Yes or no. So true or the false case. And within, within each of those, if the time you have remaining is more than 30 minutes, then you go to somewhere uh, kind of maybe more sit downy. And if you have less than 30 minutes, you go to somewhere that's more fast foody. So yes, absolutely, you can indent. Uh, you can uh, you can you can have a nested conditionals. Notice that the indentation for the body of the conditional is always relative to the condition statement itself. It's always one more. So it's not like the absolute number is an indent of one. It all depends on where the if uh, like where the condition itself, where the condition is checked, what the indent is there. And so you have right here, you know that all of this here is part of the if case because it's all indented at least by one. And all of this is part of the body of the else case because it's all indented by one. And then when, within here you have print uh, go to punch out, it's indented by two. So you can see that it's part of this if time left greater than 30 condition.